Hi, everybody. June 16, 2021. Did you hear about this? Wells Fargo cancels Lauren uh, Witsicki's bank account. Leaves her stranded out of state with no money. Wells Fargo, because they have the right, they can cancel accounts. Well, they canceled Witsicki's. Is that how you pronounce her name? I'm sorry if I have pronounced it in my own little way. Um, she ran for Republican, uh, as a Republican, Senate in Delaware, 2020 elections. Uh, Wells Fargo literally just, <laughs> she went to get money out and she had a zero balance. Removed all the money. Um, I think they're going to send her a check, but how do you do this without at least giving a forewarning? We've decided to cancel your account. You have 30 days or 15 days even. No warning. <laughs> she was in Florida, and if she didn't know anybody in Florida, she would have been completely stranded. She's also um, a Christian conservative and current presenter with True News, um, America First policies. Is there an, an America First News um, show as well? I don't know. But I don't know her. I've never heard of her. Um, but this is not good. It's not good at all. So she warned other conservatives that they should remove their money from Wells Fargo. Hmm. And this national file uh, site asked for a response from Wells Fargo, and they didn't get one. Not good. Reminds me of Operation Choke Point, you know, during the Obama years, when our government regulators got in touch with banks and said, uh, stop doing service with this business, gun manufacturers, gun stores. Yeah, just stop. And they did. We have a criminal government and criminal corporations that are behaving in ways that should really alarm everyone. Everyone, FBI. They raided this, um, what's it called, U.S. private vaults in Beverly Hills. They raided that with a warrant, but the warrant didn't include looking at private uh, boxes. But they did anyway. And they got an awful lot from innocent people. And now those innocent people have to <laughs> sue the FBI to get their money back and their items. They also took gold bars, jewelry, and cash. Does that sound right to you? The FBI wants to keep the $86 million that they found in, in how many boxes that they look into, like 800 safety deposit boxes. But that warrant was only to uh, look into the office, not private boxes. So the FBI went beyond what they were allowed to uh, investigate. And, you know, that's not right. We have a criminal government that does whatever the hell it wants to do. Okay. All right. Beverly Hills, California, safety deposit box business. Hmm. Well, prosecutors claim it's fair to make the renters of the 369 safe deposit boxes forfeit their valuables because they were engaged in criminal activity, but there's no evidence to support that allegation. 
you know, the the uh, civil forfeiture laws, where if you're related to somebody who uh, may have broken the law, you know, they're buying a joint of marijuana from someone, the police literally... Let's say if a son is staying with you, and I mean, it could be the slightest uh, infringement, a nonviolent crime. The police can, ser- they can raid your home and they can seize your home, your car, all your cash. Because you're related to somebody who violated the law in a very insignificant way. This has been going on for years. This is a criminal government that is stealing from innocent people. No evidence to support that those 369 safety deposit boxes uh, were... (laughs) that those people were engaged in criminal activity, the people that um, have those safety boxes. But, hey, we're just going to keep it. Box holders and their lawyers say the FBI is trampling on the rights of people who were unaware, the business, unaware uh, U.S. private vaults, was charged in a sealed indictment with conspiring to sell drugs and launder money. The warrant was for uh, raiding the business. This warrant does not authorize a criminal search or seizure of the contents of the safety deposit boxes. But they went into those safety deposit boxes anyway. And a lot of innocent people have been hurt by this. Doesn't seem right, right? They even... They're even keeping $1.3 million in poker chips from Las Vegas. Gold and silver bars, pricey watches, keeping the cash. Well, you know, when you have a criminal government, this is what it can do. A whole lot of innocent people have learned that lesson the hard way. I guess more innocent people will learn the hard way as well. All righty. Hope you're having a good day. Ciao.